What's up, guys? Um, happy Wednesday. We're going to do a quick stream. Prize picks, they're running a promo on Justin Gaethje. I locked in a slip. You can see here some MLB correlation. And what's kind of annoying about prize picks is what you'll notice is if you try to get too cute, I mean, a lot of times they're going to nerf the correlation. So, for example, if we try to take, like, Chris Bassett, you know, over, and then we try to take players on the Astros to go under in total bases, they add in these payout shifts. But they didn't add a payout shift into this slip, so I can actually just put the link in for anyone who wants to tail. So, basically, what we're rooting for is Glasnow to have a bad game, which basically means everyone on the Giants is getting on base and scoring. So, overs and fantasy scores overs in total bases and there's no payout shift so prize picks is a little weird with when they determine to add a payout shift for mlb and when they don't but anyways kind of interesting to to, to play around with but let me put this link in the chat for anyone who wants to tail um i think it's still available what's up guys oil up alex what are you talking about bro link it anyways here's the link dodgers winning again well that's fine i don't really care who wins the game all i care about is um if my bets win. But let's see what we got. We got five minutes until the 4.30 game start. So do we try an underdog slip? It's like, man, I don't know. Should we try an underdog slip or should we just go straight to prize picks, fliff? So let me put in all the books and let's just kind of sports quack. Fuck it. We can look at everything, man. But um, let's see what we got here. So maybe we try to start out. Oh, dude, there's a lot of, there's a lot of options right now. How do we feel about Chet tonight? SGA's out. So what do we have? So this play, we're actually already on this UFC play on Fliff. I'm trying to remember. What did we already bet? What have we already bet on this stream? So we're already on this over one and a half at minus 135. I mean, it's still available at minus 150, and the value looks solid. We hit this on a previous stream. I mean, you can see the books have just been absolutely ripping this line towards the over. <laughs> the over one and a half rounds has gone from plus 185 to minus 175. So it looks solid at minus 150 on Fliff. But honestly, we've already bet that at, or I've already bet it at minus 135. So if you haven't already hit it, get on the train. But let's do an underdog slip real quickly. Then we can go to prize picks and Fliff. So let's see what we got here. So the first play we have is Cade Cunningham under four and a half rebounds. People like fading Cade tonight. So, and then we got Murray under 14 and a half RAs. So let's just take a look at underdog real quick. Oh my God, dude. So there's also just esports line discrepancies showing up like crazy. Well, let's see. Let's reload. I mean, sometimes underdog fantasy, they just bump all this shit way too quickly. But let's see if we're able to get in a slip. Um, I'm, um, so I'm not sure why I don't see that player, but let's just kind of take a look. So the first play we have CS2, CS2. So let's see what we got here. Ottend. So underdog fantasy opens this guy's line early esports bets for tomorrow. They open Otten's line at 30 prize picks, 26 half hot streak has his line at 25 and a half with the under favored underdog is kind of like the stupid child. <laughs> They're kind of like the stupid child for 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 esports. There always seems to be a ton of esports value. So we can go with that play. And there's a ton more. All these esports plays are in the same game though, which is a little annoying. But what we fuck, they already So they already <coughs> God damn. So they already locked the first esports play, but yeah, you know, anyways. Are we not going to be able to fire off a slip? Sometimes I don't even know why am I trying underdog fantasy on these streams, but, you know, I can't help myself, man. I can't help myself when there's super good lines available. We just got to move quicker. We got to move quicker because so usually the best discrepancies are early, like when books first drop odds. But then what you'll notice is underdog, ultimately, they kind of like end up moving towards where prize picks has their lines. So you just got to move quick, I mean, to get in on some of these. So we have Chris Bassett under five strikeouts. So maybe something like this. It's Chris Bassett under five strikeouts. So does Prize Picks have a lineup? So if you want to lock it in, lock it in. You can see Prize Picks has this line lower at four and a half. So this play seems solid. 
And who knows how long the esports play will last. But anyways, and this game starts pretty soon. So let's lock this in. We could not detect your location. Anyways, let's go here. Please tell me it's all still available. It is still available. So let's lock this in, right? So we got Chris Bassett. There we go. Okay, so we got our first play in on this stream. So if we just, if you just look at his strikeout line, so we have uh, MLB, and then we want to look at strikeouts, and then let's do a prize pick slip. So how do we feel about his strikeout line? I mean, you can see FanDuel has his line at four and a half with the under favored. So there's definitely some discrepancies in the market right now. You can see like the odds are kind of changing around. FanDuel has his line lower at four and a half with the under favored. Same thing with ESPN bet. A lot of these fantasy sites, you know, everyone kind of has the line at four and a half. Underdogs are just chilling at five. So it's like, okay, you know, we can kind of roll with that. And we got our play in. But anyways, let's see what we got here. So we got our first slip in. I put it in in time. Why can I never get it? Fliff. Uh, underdog does more bumps than Alex. Ha, ha, ha. Funny, funny, funny. Anyways, we got this play in. So we have an underdog slip. And this is the first play of the stream. And then I want to go over to prize pick. So let's do a prize pick slip. You know, while we can. While we can. Because a lot of these NBA games are starting at 430 and 5. So are we really going to fade Giannis tonight? I think we are. So let's take a look what we got here. So we got our first slip in. Again, all the live stream plays are tracked in the sheet in the description on YouTube. But let's start here with Giannis PRAs. Do people like fading Giannis tonight? They're playing the Grizzlies. I don't think Damian Lillard is playing. I don't think Dame's playing tonight. But if you look at the Bucks game, uh, what are they on the money line? I mean, they're minus 700 favorites, so... Whenever the Grizzlies are playing, you know there's a good chance the game's a blowout. That's for sure. And it checks out from a val... Or we could take Giannis points plus rebounds. Giannis's assist line is 9. Points plus rebounds actually looks at... Or would we... I don't know, man. What do we want to take? Points plus rebounds, 48.5. So this is the first play. So his assist line is around 9. That's crazy, man. But you can see here, market has moved Giannis to being a big favorite to go under. I mean, 48 and a half, 48 and a half points plus rebounds is crazy, especially against the Grizzlies. And you can see it checks out from a value perspective. So sure, maybe we start there. And then we just need to find some other picks that we can pair. So again, like there's so many different bets we can play on prize picks. So I always say like, you know, kind of the first step is... We want to make sure all the plays have value that we're going with. And on prize picks, Trey Murphy under two and a half assists. I mean, two and a half assists, these bets are always scary. <laughs> but you can see, like, you know, the way that prize picks works, it's just like underdog. You take him over or under, you always get the same payout. And then if you check out the market, like, all the books kind of have Trey Murphy as a big favorite to go under two and a half assists. I mean, that's just such a low line. But that is an option. Then there's a ton of options to fade on Giannis, so we want to move quickly. So, okay, Trey Murphy under two and a half assists. <sighs> Trey Murphy dunks? Mm, let's take Trey Murphy assists. So honestly, let's ride it. Trey Murphy under two and a half assists. And then we have D. Mitchell over four and a half assists. I do like this play. Mitchell, he didn't play, he didn't play uh, yesterday. Which is annoying because we had a bet on him over 21 and a half points. What a cash. But we have Donovan Mitchell over four and a half assists. Checks out from a value perspective. All the books, the entire market has his over heavily favored. And then I don't want to take the play on Garland because I'm already riding Donovan Mitchell. So it doesn't really make sense to take, you know, Garland points plus assists. But anyways, we got we to gotta move now. Bro, are we seriously going to bet on... We seriously gonna bet on the women's basketball? We could. There's actually a lot of plays kind of coming up for um, the women's final four, or maybe not final four. Maybe it's the championship game. I'm not sure. So we got we like Kate Martin under seven, eight and a half rebounds. So let's take a look here. Underdog has her line lower at eight rebounds. So maybe we go with a woman's college basketball pick. Kate Martin, under eight and a half rebounds. Again, prize picks, they just have ass payouts. Like, 
Underdog Fantasy, you know, we're getting 100 to win 600. So a 6x payout. Prize Picks, they're a fucking ripoff for their three pick entries. They, they try to only give you 5x. So we don't want to take a 5x payout. So, sure, whatever. We can ride Kate Martin. You guys like that? Women's college basketball, and then we just need to find one final pick that we can kind of roll with. We need to find one final pick. I'm trying to move as quickly as possible. So we, we're fading Giannis, Donovan Mitchell. Okay, okay. So what is one final pick that we like? Honestly, let's just go to golf. Golf, golf, golf. So this starts tomorrow, PGA. I don't mind it. Under 69 and a half strokes. Eh, actually, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else. I always struggle with the last pick, but again, like I'm putting my own fucking money on this. I want to make sure I like the picks. They're as good as possible. Cal Quantrill, under three and a half strikeouts. He lived next to me in college, but ooh, most oh, fuck, 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 fuck. What do we want to go with as the final pick? What do we want to go with? Please tell me you didn't bump anything. So they haven't bumped anything. Anyway, sorry. Sometimes it just, the last pick stresses me out because I want to make sure I get the best possible thing. I get the best possible play in. So we have Chris Bassett fantasy score. We have Javier fantasy score. So we could ride some pitchers. Uh, we have Murray points plus rebounds. Over 29 half points plus rebounds. So this play actually... I assume it's about to start, so we're going to need to move quickly on Murray. Yeah, this game starts in four minutes. So anyways, where is points plus rebounds? Where the fuck are you, bro? Points plus rebounds. Points plus rebounds. Where? What are we looking at? DeJounte Murray points plus rebounds. So where is this, bro? Points plus rebounds. It looks like Prize Picks just completely removed his points plus rebounds line. Mmm. So, my, we, what do we need? So, we got Kate Martin. I like that pick. We could fade Wendell Carter. We could pit, fade Paige Buckers. A lot of these fucking picks showing up. Jalen Williams under four and a half rebounds. Okay. Eh. 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 What are we, what are we thinking? Christian Javier over 15 and a half outs. Honestly, let's just get this slip in. I like this pick. So let's take a look. We got Christian Javier over 15 and a half outs. And this will be our first slip. College basketball games, not till, you know, unfortunately, it's not until, but anyways, Prize Picks has me on these ass ass betting limits. But regardless, let's just get this slip in. I'm taking way too much time. People got shit to do, people got sports to watch, but I like it. Link, link, link. Link's in the chat for anyone who wants to tail. So here's the link. So what do we have on the stream? We got an underdog three-pick entry. Um, and we got a prize picks play. So should we look at Fliff or FanDuel? Does anyone have a preference? Fliff, FanDuel, or better? So honestly, better has a lot of promos. They also have some discounts. I'm not sure if they're still available. I gave out a slip earlier today on... Um, uh, on Twitter, but you can see they have some discounts. Garland's assist line, they're dropping him to five and a half. So hopefully you still have some time to bet that. But anyways, what did I want to say? Okay, come on, remove. Okay, so they removed a lot of these. It does still look like they have the Garland discount. It's only a max of 20, um, 25 bucks. But what do we like? Okay, so again, all these books have different lines from one another. Like a lot of people will say, yo, bro, I already use prize picks. Why do I need to use better? You know, prize picks has Valanchunas's line at 10 points. Better's at nine and a half. And you can see like the value on this play is incredible. I mean, books have Jonas as a huge favorite to go over nine and a half points. So let's just move here quick. So we have Valanchunas in the Pelicans game. And we want to take him over nine and a half points. People like Valanchunas tonight. I feel like he's hit or miss. Then we got our boy Giannis. And, you know, we're going to ride him a second time. Under 57 and a half PRAs. So they don't have his points plus rebounds line. Although you could double down on that on Fliff, but we're already on it on prize picks. So maybe we don't double down. 
fuck, man. Are we really going to double down on Trey Murphy under two and a half assists? We may have to, man. So I think we are. Well, it, that doesn't pair that well with the Valanchunas play. Unfortunately, that doesn't pair that well with the Valanchunas play. So honestly, there's not a ton of value on better. I mean, I'd rather do another prize pick slip. These two plays seem good. You know, Valanchunas over nine and a half points and Giannis, if you haven't used the promo yet. But, you know, like what's kind of annoying about better and prize picks too is they just have shitty payouts. Um, for three pick entries, like Underdog and Dabble are kind of the best there in terms of their payouts for three pick entries. So what we can do is... <sighs> Man, are, do, are we really going to ride fucking Giannis is under again? So those plays seem good on better, but unfortunately, you know, there's not a ton more value on better. I waited way too long to start this stream. But what we can do is we can ride Giannis on underdog. So underdog has, again, there's a lot of esports line discrepancies. I'm just worried that I'm going to waste everyone's time and all this shit's going to move. Oh, man. We also have some NIT plays showing up, but hey, let's, let's, let's try. I'll try to give people time to bet it. Hopefully, they don't move it too quickly. So, we have McDaniels, Edwards over. So, honestly, these, pa these plays pair pretty well together. So, you can see there's value on Edwards over. You know, first thing, any play I ever give out is I want to make sure, okay, it has good value. Did they just bump it? No, they didn't. But this play would pair pretty nicely with Jaden McDaniels, another play with value, and they just bumped him. <laughs> they just bumped him from 13 and a half to 13, so these sports books are always trying to prevent us from making money, so I guess this is the play. And you can see, like, FanDuel, I mean, all the books have just kind of ripped Edwards to being a heavy favorite to go over. Sometimes it's lineup-driven, like, who knows? So if you want to lock it in, lock it in. And they already bumped the fucking esports play. Dude, they're insane, man. They're like the psychotic fucking ex-girlfriend. But anyways, what we can do is, you know, Jambo and Tronic under 30. So there's two options, and you can see they already moved Giannis. Taking way too long. So we have Jambo under 30. And then instead, there's also value on Giannis PRAs. And they already fucking bumped that too. Th this is insane. So let's do another prize pick slide. This is a waste of fucking time. Well, it's a waste of time unless we want to look at Dabble and see if there's anything attractive on Dabble that we can kind of lock in. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. So we were just talking about taking Valentunas is over, but what we could do, so Underdog already bumped all this stuff, so waste of time to talk about. But on Dabble, there's some good options. Dude, having a 34 and a half points line is crazy. But um we have Giannis under. And let's just see the plays with value. We got again the Trey Murphy under two and a half assists. Which pairs kind of nicely with the final pick, which is gonna be Valanchunas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh fuck, man. Valanchunas under 20 and a half PRAs. Oh, baby. Actually, I think this is the slip, boys. Well, we can't take three Pelicans players. So, something like this. I was literally just going to look at Zion assists on Fliff. But if we take a look here... Again, we're always looking for these soft spots on sportsbooks. So Dabble has his line at five, right? Five assists. All the other books, Underdog, etc., have his line at five and a half. That also pairs really nicely with Trey Murphy. So this is what I'm going to lock in. You can see it on my screen. It pairs really nicely with Trey Murphy under two and a half assists, right? Because um, only one player on the team can get assists. So if Zion is passing the ball and getting all the assists, Trey Murphy's more likely to go under. So these plays pair actually very well together. 
So this is what I'm gonna lock in if you wanna hit it. And this is just a dabble play. Dabble used to have a lot more value. Unfortunately, they kind of seem to have tightened up a bit, but regardless, we're able to get in a play. And we got a dabble slip in now. So we have a prize picks play and then we have a dabble. I'm just adding, not adding them, just setting a reminder to add these to the live stream tracker. So on dabble, it's Trey Murphy under two and a half assists, Zion over five. I mean, that's the best play available. But let's see, we can take a look at Fluff. Let's see what we got on Fluff. And again, every live stream play you'll just see tracked in uh, the spreadsheet in the description on YouTube. But um, why isn't my phone coming up, man? So let me try reconnecting my phone again. And then this is gonna be our dabble play. I mean, if we wanted to, we could double down on Zion, but why is my phone coming up, man? Anyways, should we do another prize pick slip or should we look at Fliff? Come on. Again, I'm not sure why some of these books are so janky. So janky, man, when when I when I have streaming software going. But anyways, let's see if this works. Let me add my phone. Should we do prize picks or should we do Fliff? Should we look at Fliff? So we already, I have a parlay open on Fliff, but um, what did I want to say? We already have some plays open on Fliff as well for the final, but let's take a look at Zion. So anyways, you should see my phone now on the screen. I'm not sure why it's so janky sometimes, so I apologize for that. I'm not trying to waste time. We have 15 more minutes to lock in bets before basically every game for the day has started. So let's just take a look right here. Um, so let's see what else we have. So this is the dabble play again. And again, they have six X payouts, which is really nice because the five picks are absolute shit on, um, prize picks on prize picks and better. They try to give you a five X payout, which is bullshit. So I'm not going to take that Zion play, but Ooh, this is available on MGM as well. I mean, if we did want to double down on Giannis under and PRAs, you can get him on Fliff. It's not like there's particularly crazy value on that play, but it's an option under 57 and a half PRAs, but we're already riding him now on Dabble. So if you wanted a Fliff play or you didn't take advantage of the prize picks play, I mean, you can see, oh my God, prize picks already bumping some of the previous plays we went with, but that's okay. We'll survive. So... This play on Donovan Mitchell actually keeps getting better. So do we like Donovan Mitchell tonight? I feel like everyone's taking Garland tonight. So we have a dabble slip. What else do we want to look at? Anyways, we need to get in some bets. So we got Donovan Mitchell over four and a half assists. This play actually just got better. Huge favorite to go over. You know, like kind of the way I think about it. It's like, okay, like FanDuel has him as a minus 162 favorite to go over. They're more bullish than, let's say, DraftKings on is over. So FanDuel, maybe like more of their sharp customers, I mean, who the fuck knows, are betting is over. Like all these books are setting their own lines, moving lines based on where action's coming in. FanDuel's more aggressive than DraftKings. Bet online is more aggressive than DraftKings, but you kind of get a sense. You look at all these different betting markets that, okay, like he's a big favorite to go over. And then there's two plays that actually pair really well together. So I know we're already riding Trey Murphy's under in assists, but that doesn't mean we can't like the value on his over in points. And this play pairs very nicely with the next play we're going to look at, which is Zion RAs. So if Zion's getting assists, hopefully he's passing the ball to Trey Murphy. <laughs> um, so these plays pair well together, but we still need to find a couple other picks to, to go with. Again, I would have done more MLB, but I mean, you can see like they just started adding in these payout shifts. Well, I guess not here. I mean, everyone and their brother are riding Mookie Betts tonight. At some point, he's got to go under, but, um, you know, like 
Anyways, prize picks doesn't add in the payout shift. So taking hitters on the same team to go under in fantasy score, like that would be positively correlated. You know, if, you know, Mookie Betts isn't getting on base, then Freddie Freeman, if he has a bad game, Freddie Freeman is less likely to get more at bats. You know, all that kind of stuff. So they're both more likely to go over or under together. And they've been going over together a lot so far this season. But anyways, let's find some stuff. So let's get rid of esports for a second. I don't really want to talk about esports. Fucking underdog bumming everything on us super quick. Um... And let's build a new slip. So we have some different fantasy score options, which is awesome. But again, what's annoying, man, Mark Sears, I do like this. Man, I like fading everyone on Alabama. This game's going to be an absolute shit show. So we have Mark Sears under 28 and a half PRAs. So let's take a look at this. Books are starting to drop. More sports books are starting to drop, um, you know, college basketball lines. So you can see here things are moving around a bit, but um, you know all these most of these other books have his line at 27 and a half. ESPN, DraftKings, they're opening him, they're opening up his PRA line at 27 and a half. They're obviously playing Connecticut. He's gone under the past two games playing Connecticut. First of all, um, and they already fucking bumped him. It's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. So the stream is still working. Okay, that's good. But, um, so they already bumped that play on Sears. So we have Struess under 10 and a half points. I don't love pairing that with Mitchell. It doesn't make a ton of sense. If Donovan Mitchell is getting assists, he's probably passing the ball, you know, to someone else on the Cavs, maybe Max Struess. Those plays don't pair well together. What the fuck is going on in the Grizzlies game? Yo, so this line is going to get bumped quick, but let's see if we can get it in. So we have Brandon Clark under 16 and a half points plus rebounds. So let me just make sure I'm not missing something here. All the other books have his line lower at 14 and a half, have kind of ripped his line lower. I'm not sure if some lineup news just came out. In the game, Brandon Clark under 16 and a half points plus rebounds. Or we could take his under and RAs, but honestly, I just want to move quick and get something in. Sears play already moved. Oh, man. Giannis, we're already on. So, so something just happened in the Grizzlies game because these lines are moving around. But anyways, let's go to this golf play. And I, I, I mean, I want to get this in before anything moves. So we don't already have anything in the grizzlies Bucks game for this slip. But anyways, let's just hit this and let me put the link in the chat really quickly because I, I get the sense that they, they may bump this play quick. I don't know, again, like, a lot of times these big moves... Yo, what's up, guys? Quickly bump to 30.5 PRAs. Discount on Zion. Where's the discount on Zion? If someone wants to get his attention, they have Zion discounted to 22.5 PRAs on um, uh, Parlay Play promo, por favor. So, good point. We got to do the discounts. Man, some of you, like... I'm, I, I like reading the chat, but also, like, a lot of people want bets. So I'm trying to manage a lot of stuff going on right here. But anyways, we got our second prize pick slip in. And what do we want to pair, man? What do we want to pair? So what's nice about Parlay Play, we have thir seven minutes left for this discount, is you can actually pair promos together. So like every single day they have this promo. It's called Slide the Line or some shit like that. And you can bump a line in your favor. So, usually what I do, they're offering a four-point discount on Zion. Four points is a lot, you know, like, it may not seem like a big deal, but essentially, so, what do we want to do? So, if you look at, um, where, where is this game? How big of a jump is four points in the odds for Zion? I mean, you can see his over 22 and a half is minus 290. His over 26 and a half is minus 110. So minus 300 favorite, like 75% to win, and then like 50-50. So this bet, you know, you're, you're essentially getting an increased win rate of like 25%. But what we can do is just try to find something good to pair for the parlay play promo. So usually what I do is just try to find some line that has halfway decent value. 
and then I bump the line in my favor. So, for example, let's just try to find something. They have League of Legends lines up, it says. Are these map one, two, three? So they have League of Legends lines up for map one to three. So what we can do is we can just take a look at this. First three map player kills. Mm. Maybe not. So here we go. So are there any soft spots? You know, like here, it's like NBQQ. Parlay Play has his line at 32 and a half. Rest of the market has his line at 32. So what we can do is we can just type in this guy. We already have our play on Zion. And again, it's very simple, but just like finding value in the market, I mean, it doesn't take that long. And, you know, it always works long term. So we have NBQQ. Rest of the market has him half a point lower. Not like it's crazy, but then we can bump his line up to 33 and a half, get an extra point of value, and lock that in for the parlay play promo. And there we have it. So we're betting 20 to win 62.60. So we're betting 20 to win 62.60. And this is the play we got in, man. So what do we have on this slip? We have an underdog slip. We got two prize picks plays. We got a dabble slip. And now we have a parlay play promo. So we got Zion over 22.5 points. And then NBQQ under 33.5 map 1-2. And we're betting 20 bucks. Again, like a lot of people would be like, shouldn't you think about these bets a little more? It's like, no. You should just find a bunch of bets with an edge, with an advantage, and lock them in. So there's some more value on prize picks, but let's see if there's anything on Fliff that's kind of popping up. Fliff or FanDuel? Eh, there's the Giannis PRA line. We're already fading him. Edwards over, eh. What's nice about FanDuel, again, is they just have really tight markets. Very tight markets. So what am I trying to do? Um... Like you can see here, they only have a 20 cent spread, minus 108, minus 112, 20 cents of juice in their market on Jaden McDaniel's rebounds. Every other book, and they're the only book with his under favored. All these other books have, first of all, a lot more juice. Fliff has a 60 cent spread, <laughs> plus 105, minus 165. But if you look at all the other books, it's pretty clear on FanDuel. Again, all this tool does, the odds GM positive expected value tool, all it's going to do is point out value in the market. It's pretty clear getting minus 108 is fucking solid, considering every other book has this, like, minus 140, minus 150. <clears throat> so if you use FanDuel, you can lock it in. FanDuel's like dabble. It's just kind of janky with, um, uh, with streaming software. But, I mean, you can see, like, minus 108, about as good as it gets. Jaden McDaniels over over five and a half rebounds if you wanted a fan duel play but i'm gonna call this live stream for now you know hopefully you got in some good plays again they're all tracked in the description on youtube you know there's a sheet kind of tracking all the bets but thanks so much for your time appreciate it and i'll probably be you know back on live streaming